there's not too much to say in this video um i'm sad and i am proud proud of you guys <laughs> um i'm sad because this game could have been something phenomenal like what we saw in the trailer is is the vision so many of us want in a game but then i'm also proud because they tried to shaft us and we just haven't stood by and been shafted we've kind of taken the piss and we've refunded we've we've tested it we've checked it and we've refunded and they are now paying the price what the fuck oh oh fuck oh, fuck. oh servers are full well oh, shit no i can't talk to him early access <laughs> Oh, he's running towards someone else. Oh, it's got me a player. Yo, man, help me. Help me, brother. Let's be friends. You fucking dick. So in the last hour, there has been an update from the fantastic and the day before Twitter. Now, we're going to jump into this in a second, but you can kind of get the gist of what's happened. The TLDR, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video, they have shut down. Fantastic Studios has, sh has closed it's just straight up closed let's read what they've said today we announced the closure of fantastic studio unfortunately the day before has failed financially and we lack the funds to continue all income received is being used to pay off debts to our partners now this is where i encourage all of you guys that have bought this game to push for a refund because the game isn't what they delivered to us I, I encourage you all to get a refund. Do not leave them with any funds left. We invested all of our efforts, resources, and man hours into the development of the day before, which was our first huge game. <laughs> we really wanted to release new patches to reveal the full potential of the game, but unfortunately, we don't have the funding to continue the work. It's important to note that we didn't take any money from the public during the development of the day before. There were no pre-orders or crowdfunding campaigns. We worked tirelessly for five years, pouring our blood, sweat, and tears into the game. At the moment, the future of the day before and prop night is unknown, but the servers will remain operational. We apologize if we didn't meet your expectations. We did everything within our power, but unfortunately, we miscalculated our capabilities. Creating games is an incredibly challenging endeavor. I got a little kind of timeline here, just behind my head. We're grateful to everyone who supported us during these difficult years. It's been a fantastic journey over the past eight years. So 2015, they opened the studio. 2017 was The Wild 8, which I don't think did very well. 2018, Dead Dozen, never heard of it. 2018 again, Radiant 1, never heard of it. 2021, Prop Night. Now, I've heard of Prop Night because they kept spamming it on the day before Twitter while I was looking for updates. And then, of course, in the last few days, um, the day before released and... It looks like it's going to continue operating, but only with the servers that they have. Now, there's a bit more information to go over um, just briefly to show you kind of the, the final, the ending of the day before. Oh, so I was just heading to their Discord. Um, I was just heading to their Discord and it looks like it's gone. Now, I'm lucky, luckily enough, I took, a, I took a screenshot here. But as you can see, the Discord is basically shut down. Excuse my pings, but... This is the day before Discord. As you guys would have known, this is, yeah, this is not what it was a minute ago. Um, wow, this is all happening <laughs> live right now. How exciting. Um, so this was the message that was posted. Now, this guy here, Le Le Levitate, he has been a mod on this Discord for a while. Um, I sort of seen him from the start. And he just posted this to everybody on the server. To everyone, a last goodbye and thank you for myself and the rest of our moderation team and the volunteers. We appreciate all the time we've had over the time we've spent here. We had our community ups and downs. The kind words today were appreciated from the mods. FN fumbled and tried to use us as a scapegoat. One day, someone will make the great game we all desire. For those who still need a refund, do check out the Reddit. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's all happening as we speak it's um yeah it's it's such a shame to see but you know i i do love i do love to see you know someone who what what, what this company they've never really been honest with us from the start you know following um their journey has been it's been absolutely crazy it's 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 definitely a shame to see it fail but i'm glad to see that they've um you know had a bit of a wake-up call that they can't just they can't just come in 
make a fucking asset flip and then fuck over the community like the gaming community it's good boys it's good we stuck together and everyone's refunded we checked it out of course we give it a, we give it an evening well, we gave them the benefit of the doubt we, we bought it we tried it and they just didn't deliver now the final thing the final thing to show which um uh landed in my inventory as well in my dm sorry <laughs> um was was this now this kind of put the the nail in the coffin really um i think there's been there was a, there was a whole sort of reddit post about every every sort of asset that they found within the game and this was one of the biggest ones they essentially bought the majority of the map um if you look through some of these screenshots you guys who would have played you would have you would have recognized a lot of this it was basically this was this was this was our map this is what we played <laughs> um yeah there was, there was a reddit post that kind of highlighted basically all of this this is what we saw this is what we got um and this is why it's failed this is why it's failed they kind of tried to fuck us over and screw us over but yeah that's it i just wanted to highlight this the day before is over um uh, the day before saga has finished the fantastic studio has shut down